Hey everyone, it's Alexa and welcome back to Grace and Cherish. It's a new day and we are in my house. I'm glad to have you here with me, even if it's not physically, but hey, welcome to my home. I am excited to share a renovation story today. Now, I've shared about Philo. Philo is a property that we live on, 10 acres outside of Atlanta, Georgia, that we're using to serve people. That's the vision. And so I share, I share a lot about gardening and what we're doing in the garden, how we wanna use it to serve people through um, different events. And our whole goal with this place is to provide a beautiful, hospitable place for people to connect deeper with God, themselves, and others. That is the heartbeat of this property and this home that we live in. And honestly, the homes, all the homes that we've lived in. Um, but especially like this channel is kind of chronicling the journey of that. And I really wanted to share, and I was really, I was kind of nervous, but so excited to share about our home renovation and really just home design in general, because hospitality is something I talk about a lot. And the reason for that is because I honestly believe, I truly believe that it transforms lives, homes, and communities. And I have seen the power of hospitality. And I think that in a time when I know so many of us have experiences in homes where it's really not great, where when we think of home, it's not be all beautiful memories. And some of us do have those beautiful memories and that's wonderful and I'm so thankful for that. And some of us are a mix of in between where we have really good and we have some really hard things when we think about home. And for me, as I started setting interior design, which I started doing it in a season when I was actually depressed and I wasn't okay. And the two things that made me joyful, that brought me so much, much joy was interior design and reading the Bible. So I, you know, when I started doing that and really looking at what is hospitality, it just, I, I gained a lot more depth in my understanding of it. And so with our home here, and when I think about everything that we want to do with our property that I've talked about and shared about, and if you are new and this is your first time, hello, and you can watch the video, I'll link it in the, um, whatever that is, description box, and you can go watch that and share more about the vision. But what I wanted to do today was share about our renovation and share some of the background because home and interior design for me is very meaningful and very much speaks to my mission of creating beautiful and hospitable places that again, help people to connect deeper to God themselves and others. When I look at interior design, I see great opportunity in creating a home that is full of beauty and depth beauty and meaning. And so what I wanted to share when I talk about our own renovation is one, just showing this is how far we've come. You know, just like I like to show our property, I want to show our, our home. And I also want to be able to encourage people when you are considering your own renovations, your design, decorating, all of that, I really want to beckon all of us. Like if I could think of one thing I want to do, it's help all of us to reconsider what hospitality means and how we can go about showing it in our lives, both in our homes and outside of them. That is what I'm hoping for, especially in a time when it is so hard for people to connect with each other and there's so much divisiveness and there is so much loneliness. I'm, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if there's just a bunch of people trying to live in the, in the whatever it is that they have if they use that to show hospitality and invite others into it and offer a place of welcome and, and belonging and care, I wonder what that could do, you know? Um, I, it's kind of like you, you garden, like, right? So many of you who have watched my previous videos, it's all about gardening. And we, we all love how a small seed turns into something that you can eat and nourishes your body. But it starts with this small thing, like this very small thing, and it sprouts and it grows and it grows. And then it actually provides this great sustenance for you and I, this nourishment um, or, or like flowers and they grow and they grow and the beauty and delight that they bring. I'm wondering, can hospitality be that seed? Can we just offer in our homes, can we be planting just little seeds and do the same for others? So that is what my hope is so let's talk renovation i am standing in my living room i'm gonna be honest with you i filmed this video a few times and again i'm not sure why it was so hard because it's not hard at all when i'm in the garden but i don't know i filmed it many times but i was always sitting and so i said you need to stand <laughs> so i'm standing in my living room and behind me you see a room that is like a very multi-purpose room it's our homeschool room the library the playroom it's many things so that's what's behind me, a complete transformation there. But before we get there, let me show you some of the befores of our house. So I have different videos that I took. I'm gonna just put them as I'm talking, I'm just gonna put them on the screen so you can see some of the, the initial walkthrough. So we moved into our home in 
March, sorry, we actually moved in in June 2022, but we bought it in March of 2022. So two years ago, we initially saw it that February and it was just, we had prayed for so many specific things with the property. Again, the initial, the first video I ever vi filmed, we'll share more of that story. But when we came to this home, we knew like, this is the answer to the prayers that we, we had, you know, prayed like this is it, but it had been vacant for two years. So there were some really good things about it and there were some really rough things about it. And so that was all stuff we had to take in. And when we considered the fact that the people who lived here originally, the, the first owners, they were bought this house or built this house when they were already older, they were advanced in age. They had adult children who were doing their own thing. And so when they built it, they built it for their needs, not necessarily the needs of a young family of five, which, you know, later became a family of six because we welcomed a, a baby daughter who's going to be one soon, just a year ago. So that was something that we had to really take in consideration because when you're renovating a home, you have to think, what is this home? What is this going to be used for when I'm renovating? Like functionality is so key. If you have a home and you don't make it functional to your needs, then that's not. So I got to redraw the plans, redraw, you know, here's what the original home looked like and its layout. Here's what we were going to change it into, which involved moving our kitchen. So the kitchen was in the back of the house. I realized that was great for that family, but for what we wanted to do for both our family needs and then also in serving and how we wanted to be doing the different events and hosting people here in significant ways, we knew that we needed to, to shift, or at least I really desired if we, we could, to shift the kitchen over to just for better functionality and to put it in the center of the house. And so that's what we ended up doing. And you can kind of see the, you can see the drawings there and what we decided to go with. Um, we originally had a breakfast nook. That breakfast nook is now a tea room because we realized we didn't need a breakfast nook and a dining room. So we call it the tea room now. But so we have the kitchen, that one, we had our living room that I'm standing in now, not much changed, but you can see in this picture um, where, you know, we made our opening larger, we did arch openings, which fun story, I mean, that's not fun, but whatever. The framers who originally, who were working on our house, when we when I asked them if they would arch our, <laughs> arch the openings, they didn't want to do it. So I asked Brandon if he would, because Brandon is a, very, very talented man when it comes to all these things with construction, he is really good at it. And so I asked him, I was like, you know, can you do this? And he obliged and it was awesome. So I was really inspired by our front door that has an arch. It also has stained glass, which every person who comes here says they love it. Like they always say, it's so beautiful. And I don't like it at all. And so I realized that it's me, I'm the problem because everybody else likes the stained glass and I'm over here not liking it. I'll probably change it to be, you know, full transparency. But I do think it's funny that everybody else likes it. I don't know, but the colors for me, I think stained glass is beautiful, but I just, those colors with the one I'm thinking, it just doesn't work for me. Anyway, don't get mad. If you like it, that's awesome though. You're joining a lot of other people who say the same. But what I do love is the arch because I wanted to have all these openings since they were right next to each other to also be arched for that repetition and that continuity throughout. And so when we actually redid our dining room, so our dining room and screened in porch have also been renovated, but we had to wait a year before we were able to do that. So the, so anyway, the arches were that piece of continuity that we wanted to have. Um, when I think about, let's see, other parts of the renovation. So we have our entryway, which largely stayed the same minus us, you know, I added some board and batten um, features just to the entryway to add a little bit of texture and things to it. We took out the coat closet that was there. And then we, um, with the kitchen, I've talked about that. We have the living room. I just added the interior windows and the dining room. Well, what was the dining room? The previous the previous owner's dining room is the room that's behind me and what and so i'll show you know this is what it looked like before and then this is how we changed it and brandon actually built out all of the cabinets that are there so he built those it was his first time doing cabinet doors and things too so that was really neat a good challenge and project for him we painted the whole thing um, we had changed the flooring throughout the whole house so that that was all new too. Um, but one of the things that I'm most proud of is, you know, when you originally walked into the house, you walked right from the garage into the kitchen. So I already said, you know, we moved to the kitchen and what we changed the kitchen from or into was our mudroom laundry room. And then we also added in a large pantry. Again, functionality wise, we knew with all the events and things we were going to need extra space for storage. So I'm very thankful for that. So because one of the other things we did in regards to what was our previous dining room is we pushed an extra two, we added an extra two feet into in the, to make a, a nook. And I wanted to have floor to ceiling 
bookcases. And with, I, I just imagined books filling it and decor and I was all excited and I feel like books teach us and tell us so much about people. So I really wanted to do that. Um, one of my favorite things is to go into someone's house and see their books and I feel like I'm learning a bit about them and what they're interested in. So I went ahead and we, we did that. And the re my inspiration for that nook was when original, in the original house, when you walked in, you walked right into the kitchen, there was an opening and I'll, I can put a picture up there. And it was when you stood in that opening and you looked out, you saw the bay window, which the bay window is this gorgeous view and it looks right out onto our pond and I love it. And so when I stood in that opening, I said to myself, there needs to be a chair here with a nook with bookcases so that when I sit here or anyone comes and they sit here, they can look right out to the bay window. And so that's what we did. We made the bookcase wall. We, I, I have a chair <laughs> that sits there and you can see. And when you sit there, you can look right out that bay window and just see whether it's the rain or the sun or the birds going around or whatever. And it is a, just a very peaceful, peaceful place for me. And I absolutely love it. So that was something that was important to me to do. And I just, I love getting a look at it. Um, so that room, you can dining, previous dining room. Now it's a very multi-purpose room for us. We have our living room that I'm in now. And then we have, we, you know, you can walk through the kitchen into the dining room. Now the dining room, let me show you some of the befores of our previous dining room. This room was an addition by the previous owners. And it, whew, when we moved in, it had windows that were broken. So bugs and animals could get in and out. Um, we, it had um, the roof was all windows too, so that was interesting. Um, I don't know if it was like a sunroom for plants or something, I don't know, but it was all windows and those were rotting. There was leaking that came in, there was no HVAC in there, it was closed off by a sliding glass door that we really just like never opened as long as that room was there because it just, nothing, nothing good came out of it. <laughs> so what we did when we were finally able to do that project this summer, um, we did both the screen porch and that room. And so you can see what was, and what is now. And we're really excited and thankful to have that. I mean, and it's a significant for us amount of square footage that adds this whole dining room. Um, and it's, yeah, it's been great. I mean, we use it for more than just being a dining room. It was also, I had, I keep my seedlings in there in the first stage when they're in the dome and I'm waiting for them to sprout. Um, we do our homeschool stuff in there. I mean, we do so many things in that room. Um, so we also have our screen porch and in this green porch that the contractor said wasn't stable so we had to we didn't really use it a lot at first because they just said it was not very stable so this is what we changed it into all right so we walk through the kitchen you can see the dining room there and then out here is our screen porch now we had a bridal shower here on saturday so we have a lot of flowers left over we did a cut flower bouquet thing at the end and we have this is the balloon arch from the bridal shower so don't mind that Galilee's birthday is actually next week and we're having a party for so I wanted to save the balloons and see if I could use them but anyway this is the porch swing that Brandon built you can go in a little closer so you can see that then we have a coffee table that we thrifted the cane back sofa that I had mentioned love it and here is the table that I just built into the wall right here just took some pieces of wood put them together screwed them in and then you see we did shiplap next to the brick and then here I have the vintage pews that I mentioned these tables Brandon built and then the chairs the vintage pew and the chairs were all bought at the same antique pop-up market you see that and of course we have the view out to the garden so the addition of the screen porch and the dining room was huge i mean it added so much to even just the overall feel of the house. So that was something that we've been really excited about. But again, my main goal in sharing some of the background of like what we've done is really because I'm convinced that when we practice the art of remembering, when we remember this is where we were, 
this is where we are now, that it actually really helps us to be people who are more hopeful, people who, um, like, I think it's, it's so easy to get down or discouraged. And then when you're like, wait, but this is where I started. Um, I had a friend when I was showing her some pictures of the house, she was like, I didn't realize that y'all did all that. And I was so excited, not because I wanted to be like, yeah, girl, you did all that. Not, not for that sake, but because it's like, yeah, you didn't know what you were doing fully. You had never done it, but look what came of it. And you've had people here. We had people here before any work had been done. And we've had people here in the middle of work being done. And we've had people here after a lot of the work is done. And I'm just so thankful because for me, it was that I feel very much like you use what you have, however it is you have it. And if it changes later, great. If it gets better, worse, whatever, but, but use what you have. And so that has been a really big encouragement. And I wanted to also just share renovations because I like watching them. <laughs> and I'm guessing that some of you do too. <laughs> so anyway, that is part one. I mean, that's, I guess it, that's the big picture of our renovation of our home. Um, there are again, videos that I wanted to share that go more into like the specific details as to why this design choice over that design choice. Um, but I didn't want to make this video too long and everything. So I'm going to pause here and then as the weeks and months go by, I'll share a bit more about each specific place. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. There's, I mean, again, I love this stuff and, and there's so much more that I want to share about homes hospitality, spiritual formation. Um, there's so much to be said about all of those things. And so I would love to get to share more of that with you. Um, but as we go, I really just want to emphasize again, I want to encourage you to be a person of hospitality, to be a person who welcomes and serves and loves other people in the way that God has done so for you. I pray that your hospitality, my hospitality, reflects the hospitable heart of God toward us. Go have a great day. Remember that you are so valued and so loved. Until next time.